Hey guys, it's Jungle Walker again. I want to give you guys a quick rundown on what I feed my bugs. I just uploaded a video on feeding my scorpions, and as you probably saw, I'm still feeding crickets. But if you guys have any kind of creatures that need live insects, I would highly recommend that you start this. So right here I have in front of me a regular sterilized plastic tub. It's probably about 20 gallons. Picked it up for $6 at Walmart. And right off the bat you can see that I've cut a little ventilation hole in here. And inside is my roach colony. Now most of you probably think about roaches as like a disgusting pest. Unless you're, you know, really experienced in the hobby. You don't think of roaches as a source of food. But if I had a long-term commitment to feeding live bugs to an animal, I would absolutely consider getting roaches. These are not your average roaches that you find running around your apartment. These are South American dubia roaches. They're a lot slower. Uh, they can't really climb glass. They're big and juicy. They're really just perfect for feeding. If you take a look down inside here, you'll notice I've got uh, some packing tape along the edges. Now the adults are not able to climb up this plastic. It's uh, too slick for their feet. But the babies can get up here. So I put a little ring of plastic around the top to keep them contained. If you look down inside here, you can see little babies. I've only had this colony for about two weeks. And you can see already they're thriving. Look at, look at all these guys. I've probably got about 70 baby roaches in here within two weeks. I had, I had none. All of these were adults. I picked this up for $20 at the last Repticon. It was just the roaches. I had to set all this up myself. But it's really easy. Since sometimes I might have to uh, go away for an extended time, I've got this little makeshift gravity water right here. It's just a, just a plastic bottle with holes drilled down into the lid and it's situated inside a little uh, plastic dish and so it saves me a couple dollars I don't have to check on them every day make sure they've got water I've got a little bottle cap right here this is uh, their primary source of food this is uh, just kitten food dry kitten food ground up in a blender I chose kitten food because it has the highest uh, percent of protein for any commercial food out there that I would get like as far as cat or dog food. You know, cats are carnivores, so they're going to have a lot more meat in their diet. And uh, kittens, kittens and puppies, both, they're growing, so they need a higher source of protein. So if you pick up uh, some dry dog food compared to dry puppy food, the puppy food's going to have more protein. So that's their main source of food. And then I also put supplemental uh, fruits and veggies, usually bananas. I found that they really like bananas. So that's really all there is to raising your own endless supply of feeder insects. I cannot oversell these guys enough. This is the most hassle-free, expense-free way that you can feed uh, your reptiles, your uh, tarantulas, scorpions, whatever you have. If it eats, uh, if it eats crickets or superworms, then they will eat the roaches and are much better for them. They've got a much higher uh, meat content. They're not going to uh, chew off your lizard's eyelids like crickets will. They're not going to get loose and I'm, I can almost guarantee they're not going to reproduce in your house. As long as your house is not 90 degrees on a regular basis, you're going to be fine. So trust me, just get yourself a Sterilite tub, get a little supply of roaches, and within a month, you're never going to have to buy crickets again. What more can you ask for? All right, YouTube, peace out.